What's going on people? I have two words for y'all. Marvel is here. There's only three kinds of people in this world. There are ones that can count and there are ones that cannot count. In this video, we're going to make the Daredevil mask. It's based off of the Netflix version of Daredevil. And if you haven't already watched Daredevil, then you should go watch it. It's a really awesome series. I'm not in any way sponsored by Netflix. I'm just a very big fan. And um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I went ahead and put a duct tape cast around Mr. Ed's head. And I went and drew out all the lines for my template. I started off by cutting off his eyes because, um, yeah, that's kind of important even though he's blind. After I cut the templates out, I went ahead and transferred the patterns over to a cardboard piece of paper. And I'm going to use this pattern and transfer this over to some craft foam sheets. I'm using red 5mm craft foam sheet, but it doesn't really matter what color you're going to use because you're going to end up painting it anyways. As for the center of the head, I went ahead and cut out a rectangular piece and I'm aligning it with the side pieces and creating my hash marks. Apply some heat and use the corner of a table to round it off just like that. And then round off the side of the head, the part that's going to connect the center. Apply your contact cement and wait for it to dry to tack. This will give you a much cleaner result than being impatient and attaching it while it's still kind of wet. You want to make sure your edges are nicely joined so that you don't have to go back and use your Dremel tool to sand things down because that's more work and we don't like to work too much. Carefully glue on both sides. Make sure your hash marks are aligned and on point so that you don't have a lopsided head. I cut two triangular pieces and glued them together. This will be my nose and this is some extra pieces that I cut. This is going to connect the sides to each other. At this point, the nose looks a little more like a beak. So I'm going to apply some heat and form it down just a tad bit, just so it doesn't look like a bird. Because we're not trying to make a bird right now. We're trying to make Daredevil. And while we're at it, we're going to apply some heat and put a little formation onto the eyebrows. At this point, everything seems to be pretty legit, but I wanted to add a little more meat to the back of the helmet. So I'm using this template maker and some more template maker duct tape, and I am going to draw and cut out the pattern for the back of the head. I cut out the pattern and transferred it to some cardboard paper, and now I'm cutting it on my craft foam sheet. I glued it on, and it's time to do my test fitting. I want to make sure everything's nice and snugly and you can breathe out of your ears. I went and cut out some additional details to the side of the mask. I glued some small triangular pieces together like this so I can make this pyramid looking thingy and this is going to be the devil's horn on top of his helmet. Sand it down, make it nice and smooth and glue it on just like that. So far so good. Now it's starting to resemble the Daredevil mask that we see on Netflix. I'm taking this old pair of safety glasses but you want to make sure you have no scratches or badly damaged lenses because that will hurt your eyes. Take some masking tape and trace out where your eyes are going to be so you can cut it out with this Dremel tool. Yeah this is probably pretty dangerous so I suggest only idiots do this and if you're smart you want to use a vise like this. Safety third. Now that my lens are cut out and fitted I'm going to set these aside so I can apply my paint to the mask. I'm using some cardboard template to trace out the lines and I can flip it so I can make the other side so that it would look symmetrical. I'm painting it with some darker maroon paint. It looks brown in this lighting but believe me it's really maroon. Dookie maroon. I guess you don't want to call it dookie maroon, especially when you're going to wear it right in front of your face. I'm taking a pencil and I'm scoring on the additional lines. This is going to be where I paint some black lines. This is going to give it the illusion of separated plates on his helmet because that's how Daredevil's helmet looked like from the TV show. Now that I have everything nice and painted, I'm going to apply my lenses and some Velcros with some hot glue. This will make it to where I can easily adjust it if I needed it. 
to if I plan on growing a bigger chin overnight that is but yeah so far this is how it looks like templates will be available on my Facebook so be sure to swing by and say hi hi all right guys I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope y'all learned something and uh, yeah the template for this helmet build will be available on my Facebook photos I am currently working on a bunch of stuff and I'm trying to get my instructable pages together so I will be able to put more templates and stuff and have things better organized for you guys hopefully but yeah I'm kind of a one-man production over here so cut me some slack all right some Facebook shout outs okay I want to give a shout out to Johnny Black he's from Denton Texas yeah I actually got to meet him cool guy and I also want to give a shout out to Connor Morgan. He's from Camarillo, California. If you guys want to get a shout out from me, hit me up on my Facebook, on my Instagram. And yeah, I guess that's it. Who's awesome? <laughs>